our future to be pretty strong in this industry. We saw our industry go through a shift in the last 10 years with the whole DIY campaigns, and which is all fine. We know everyone is not a salon person, but even when it comes to professional brands, as an educator, I've seen a lot of brands renege on their commitment to the professional salon community. And so when I created a product line, which was based around our superstar product, which is the taming treatment, I I feel like, because I'm a stylist, I know the needs and desires of stylists, and I can always keep that into consideration when I'm planning and um, you know, setting up systems and stuff for the business. So is I'm I'm not just I'm not an influencer. I'm not if you don't know me, I'm not an influencer. I'm not a you know just a marketing company that decided to enter this industry. I am a part of this industry and have always been a part of this ind industry for some time now. A little quick resume. Um, I've been licensed since 1990. I literally took my state board six months pregnant with my son. Um, passion for healthy hair. I've educated for companies like L'Oreal and Mazzani before the merger. So I have a little history there. Um, I've created my own color education in 2009. So I came away from corporate education and created my own color curriculum um, in 2009, which kind of helped me travel the country and meet a lot of stylists just sharing my color education. And then 2010, I became um, introduced to smoothing treatments and keratin treatments and began to experience them and see how game-changing they were for our hair. And then I began to work with other companies, more of on a consultant. Um, and I don't want to say influencer because I was never being the influencer, but I was just so excited and on steroids about what it was doing to hair. I was just posting and sharing so much. And um, eventually I started to look for opportunity and I'll share that a little bit later. But um, so companies began to see my work and request for me to come and show them, well, knowing that it was necessary, not necessarily designed for textured hair, they they were impressed with the results. So they wanted to see what I was doing, what my techniques were, et cetera, et cetera. And, was, and I'll get into that shortly. In 2016, I rebranded my, my salon brand to Silk Out Bar because I got to give me this vision for Silk Out. And so I was in the salon, so I needed the Silk Out Bar, but Silk Out also needed its products to deliver this, you know, the complete system. And so uh, Silk Out System launched in 2017. Okay. So that's my little history there. Um, I began sharing my results, you know, like most people do. Um, this, this video went viral. Um, and this is an old screenshot. So this video has traveled and this video brought me a lot of customers, a lot of subscribers for this channel. And, um, it just kind of validated my experience with the with this type of product, and it just opened up a lot a lot of opportunity with me regarding um, the smoothing treatments. Um, to the point where I began, I got some exposure from a major keratin brand. I've kind of blocked out their name because legally I'm not supposed to discuss their name, so I can't say their name. But they've actually reached out to me from their headquarters. Um, looking to refer people because they saw me posting the results all the time. Um, from that point on, they decided, you know, they kept giving me a shout out, sending me a little box of shampoo and things of that nature. Uh, we thought we would part we would partner together on some events, like they were supposed to come to my salon and do an event. It um to this particular event, we, I was having a mixer, introducing the product and just helping people understand what a keratin treatment was because so many people were still like, what is it? Is it a relaxer? Is it this? Is it that? There was a whole formaldehyde issue. And so they offered to come, but they did not come. <laughs> and so that kind of ruined our, that started to ruin our relationship there. And um, because I had a salon full of people expecting this hear from them and that did not happen. So once I kind of, the, their integrity with me was ruined, then they decided that, um, and I decided I was not using the product anymore. Um, they decided to ask me to no longer use their product, say their name, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. So that's my little history there. I continue to use other smoothing treatments, um, you know, looking for those same level of resorts, use this particular brand, um, 
eh, it was, you know, it did a little something, but it, it didn't light a candle to what I was used to using. I actually launched the LA market with this particular brand. So I was a distributing educator. So I was able to share, um, I was able to educate, do classes in my salon and sell products to stylists. Um, so that's my history with smoothing treatment. So if you wonder, well, why did she create a smoothing treatment? Why didn't she just do uh, just a silk press line? Or why didn't she do just X, Y, Z? So I have a history with treatments. 